At the stroke of midnight tomorrow, we will usher in a new year, which also means a lot of new laws are going to take effect across the country. A lot of them might impact you here to discuss. CNN senior legal analyst and former federal prosecutor Jeffrey Tubin. Nice to have you. Good morning. So let's talk about the pot laws yeah. first, because these are changing marijuana laws in a, in a number of states. But at the same time that Jeff Sessions is coming in, if confirmed as attorney general, who hates these changes. It's really an, it, sort of an amazing and unprecedented situation. Of course, as I think most people know, mm -hmm. Washington State and Colorado have had legal pot for several years. And I think it's generally perceived to be more or less a success. Now, two very big states, Massachusetts and California, have legalized pot. But marijuana is still illegal under federal law. Now, Eric Holder's, uh, the, President Obama's attorney general, no, negotiated a deal with Colorado and Washington that said basically, if you keep it away from organized crime, if you keep it away from children, we will not interfere with legalization. But there's, there's going to be a new sheriff in town. Yeah. Yeah. And the question is, what will Jeff Sessions, if he's confirmed as attorney general, do about legal pot in what is now like a quarter of the United States He can population. roll that back? He can roll that back? Well, he, it's not that he can roll it back, is he can say, look, we're going to send FBI agents mm -hmm. in right. and go to your stores that, that you know, the, if you go to Colorado, it's not like it's a secret that pot is, is, is legal. They have stores that right. sell it. And it's a very big business. That's the other part of it. You would the think equation. it's legal in a lot of other places. If you just <laughs> well, it's, it's, not, it's not in actual stores. But, in, but in it's also places. actually the big issue with the federal government is the banking of it, the financing of it, what you do with the money that comes in through these businesses because the federal government does have a say in that. Right, and, and, it, and it ripples through the whole system. What do you do with banks who offer accounts to right. marijuana, you know, we in some states and 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 also an increasing number of states, you have medical marijuana and you have dispensaries which you know which give out you know which which sell marijuana. But in these states where it's legal, you know, wh what do you do? Do the are the banks allowed to take deposits from these companies? Right. He and, could, and he could really and he could, clamp he could, down on that. Indeed. And, you know, income inequality has been a big issue that with, yes. you know, on the campaign trail uh, for the past year and a half or so. Uh, 40, on New Year's Day, 41 states and municipalities will increase the minimum wages. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for, uh, for Donald Trump? Can he, try to roll, will he, can he try to roll this back? I, I don't think there, there is much chance that the federal government is, is going to roll, roll those back. Um, it, 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 I suppose it would be legally possible but even Donald Trump has said, I mean, he said varying things on this issue, right. that he favors an increase on the minimum wage. So I don't think um, there will be any sort of rollback. But I do think um, the, the Congress will not be raising the national well, minimum wage. That much is clear. Because that federally it hasn't changed since 2009. Yeah, a long 7 25 an hour. But you're right. Trump has said a few different things. But he has said he's supportive of a $10 or so minimum wage, but somewhere where we may see him uh, make a lot of noise and perhaps, you know, try to do federally what they can legally is on guns. I mean, he has said, protect Second Amendment rights, protect Second Amendment rights, et cetera. Now, California has these new restrictions coming on, on assault rifles. Right. Uh, you know, th this, guns is the classic issue between a red state and blue state divide. I mean, you know, the, the blue states are more determined than ever to try to rein in gun violence and range guns, the uh, red states are more determined than ever to relax gun restrictions. And, you know, the, the red folks are in charge now in Washington, and um, there will certainly be no more gun restrictions passed by, uh, passed by Congress or, or signed by President Trump. I know that you're an expert on all things, so yes. let's talk about these because there's some very, uh, can we call them you, weird you laws? You will amaze me yeah. if you're an expert yeah. on There's these. a law coming in that's in, it'll soon be legal to catch catfish using a pitchfork, a spear gun, or a bow and arrow in Illinois. Well, you know, you know the, the interesting thing about that law is that Poppy was behind it. Yeah. <laughs> po Poppy's interest in pitchfork fishing has, uh, has really. Hey, I gotta uh, get dinner on the table. You know, okay. it's and, and, and I, you're a tough lady. My husband know? does like fish. This is true, and I can't stand it. So yeah, I, I, I you know, you know, I don't know anything about that. I gotta say, I I heard that it happened. I don't know why, but in, hey. and in Tennessee, a new law uh, raises alcohol by volume. This allows restaurants to serve that really strong beer. 
Because only good things can come from really <laughs> strong. strong. And serve more yeah. varieties, yeah. right? Well, it's the state of Jack Daniels, so they, 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 they are uh, they're used to strong liquor. In other news, uh, Jeffrey <laughs> yeah. Tubin, Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. What book are you going to write this year? Uh, I got some things, okay. some ideas, but, you know. I think I know. But American Heiress is still available. I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the nut. Bestseller and the nut. still. Yeah. I'll write it down, Times. put it in an envelope, and see if I'm right. Guys, Please. thank you. All right. All right, coming up on New Day, the top media stories of 2016. Stay with us.